Shouty. When y'all hearing Park in there rapping and y'all hearing this man talking about dying all the time, what was going through y'all mind? Did y'all ever say, hey, man, chill out on that, man. We, You know you going to be here. Or was it just a case of we y'all just kind of felt it? I mean, you know, I'm going to be honest. We never said that, man. You know, um, at the time when you listening to it and you realize everything that he went through, yeah. you're saying to yourself, well, sh- well, you know, he got a reason to say, yeah. he got a reason to feel like that. That's right. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's your loved one standing there, so you don't want him to go nowhere. You yeah. know, that ain't what that ain't what we wanted. Uh-huh. You know, and I'm sure that's not what he wanted. Exactly. But, um, you know, it's just a reality mm-hmm. that that, you know, as black males, our time ain't always promised. So True. death is very prevalent in the black community, and unfortunately it happened to a lot of us too soon. You ain't never lied about that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, post-Tupac putting together that Are You Still Down, what was that like for you having to put that album together that soon, man? Well, when I look back on it, man, I was really kind of prepared for that moment because when he was doing a little time, for that for that felonious rape charge, yeah. I had to help uh, put me against the world together. You know, um, I was always the kind of individual to pay attention to the mixes, the vocals, background vocals, mm-hmm. bass line, guitars, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I was into it like that, and Pac knew that. So when he was locked up, he said, you know, you got to go out there and oversee this project and make sure, you know, they do my shit right, mm-hmm. which why I was more than happy to do. Yeah. You know, so when it came time for Are You Still Down, you think about it, it was really only a, a short two years yeah. since we finished Me Against the World, so I was already in that mode. I already knew the music. Yeah, yeah. Now, during the time, Me Against the World, did you know that that album was really going to kind of change the game from that point on? For Absolutely. Like, real? Absolutely. What was it like putting that thing together, though? Man, it was, um, you know, he was going through a lot. Yeah. You know, he was going through a lot. Pac was in the papers every day. You know, he was on the news all the time. You know what I mean? From the shooting in New York City to the rape case to, yeah. you know, everything, the movies, everything he was doing, even dating Madonna. So, you know, Pac was always on the, on the front page, every, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it really was him against the world, and the music reflected that. And, um, you know, it was a make or break album mm. for him because Strictly For My Niggas was platinum, but people yeah. wanted to know if he could do it again or if that was just, you know, if he was just an actor trying to rap, you know. But Pac wanted everybody to know that he was for real about this rap thing. And, you know, acting was just something that just, you know, had kind of happened. Exactly. But um, he was definitely, you know, about that music. How did Pop feel when he looked up and he realized that he was a movie star at the same doggone time? Because, I mean, all of this stuff took place in a short period of time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, how was that whirlwind and what was the experience you being right there with him trying to figure it out as y'all went? Yeah, I'm sure he was definitely happy about it because he was accomplishing all his goals and, and and for us it was just uh reaffirming what we already knew mm-hmm. you know since we was kids mm-hmm. you know Pac was always a, a talented individual a leader mm-hmm. somebody that was um clear about who he was and what he wanted to do mm-hmm. so it was just you know confirmation what we already expected yeah now when it came to y'all when you first got on them tracks and you realized that them albums were going platinum how did you feel knowing that you had a big part in you know, making that stuff come to fruition. Man, I, I felt good, man. I just wanted to continue to prove myself, man. I was a hungry MC, man. Yeah. So it was all about proving myself and, and, and also um, proving anybody out there that didn't understand why Pac was messing with us or why he had us around him. I wanted to show everybody, like, man, that, that man is a genius because mm-hmm. he's, selecting, he's selecting some of the best out here, mm-hmm. you know, and some of the hungriest out here to roll with him. You know what I mean? He could have had anybody roll with him. You know what I mean? Pac could have went around the country and handpicked anybody. You know what I'm saying? So I never, it was never lost on me or I never took it for granted. How do you feel now looking back on that time, remembering the things that he was saying and seeing how the trajectory of the music is still going through the roof to this day? Man, it's, uh, you know, Pac would walk around and say, you know, I'm a living legend. You know? <laughs> You know what I mean? He wasn't he wasn't short on confidence or yeah. belief in himself. Yeah. So you know, it, it it really I hate to come off you know conceited or, or cocky, but it just is what it is, man. Like right. he knew he knew that this was legendary shit. He knew <laughs> it was gonna live forever. Yeah. And um, you know, he made sure we knew it. Yeah. You know, and made sure we believed it by the time he got up out of here. Radio shouting. Shout-